United we stand, divided we fall. Unity as enshrined by the scripture is partnering together to work towards uplifting a kind of belief system. Do you know that if 50,000 people watch our movies, as we have always experienced, even more, and just 500 people like the movie, we have just told YouTube that out of the 50,000 that watched our movie, only 500 people loved it. It means that 49,500 did not like the movie. Do you know what YouTube will do? They will automatically remove that video from their recommended videos. And that will not allow a lot of people to see it. Why would you come and watch a video, love the video, and be blessed by the video and refuse to like the video? We can do that now. Let's change the mentality. Even as you're watching me now, click the like button. If you're watching over it, tell it. Log in on your phone and click the like button. The more the like, the more the videos go around the world and are recommended across the globe. Don't you want people to be blessed by this same content? Then like. Share the video on your various social media platforms. Comment on the videos. And click the subscribe button. Thank you very much and God bless you. Another notice, if you are watching this film in a gathering, a church program where you have people, I want to inform the protocol officers or the ushering team of the church to be very sensitive and you, you know, kind of watch people so that people don't injure themselves because there's going to be a straight move of God from the screen to the people. You can, people can have start having different manifestations. So please let the ushering or the protocol team be very, very observant if you're watching this in a gathering. But if you're watching this film alone, please make sure that you have a very good atmosphere and that there's no noise anywhere around you and that you are really ready, you are intentional, you have prayed ahead and that's why we advise people to fast before watching the film. You have prayed ahead and you follow all the prayers in the movie and you don't watch the movie halfway. If you know that you are not ready to watch it from the beginning to the end now, don't watch now until you have the time to watch because you have to watch from the very beginning to the end to be a great particular of the blessings. Pray those prayers and you see what will be happening. See. If you live in a house in the world today, whether a rented apartment, whether in a flat, whether in a face may face you, or even if it's the house that you build by yourself, so far you live anywhere, then this film is for you. Keep her to the territorial altars. You shall be mightily blessed as you watch this movie. Happy viewing. Don't hesitate to send the testimonies to us on an email address, printfilmboard at gmail.com. Let us rejoice with you. Thank you. Don't lose. I am not a loser. I will not accept defeat. I will not. I will not. Francis! 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 My keeper, how can I be of service at this time? Francis, you are drowned. I am the last keeper of my kind. I have never been ashamed. What have you done? My keeper, 
Is there any problem? I am afraid there is. I feel cheated. I feel jilted. I want my honor back because I have legal ground. But my keeper, who is responsible for all this? Who is making you angry? You. It's you, Francis. You caused it. How is that, my keeper? The family you fed with the keeper's meat that I initiated last has failed to attend to their halter. But Daniel is dead already. But his altar is very much alive. His wife and children must continue to enjoy the dividends of his sacrifice. But it's obvious they refused. They even packed out of the house. But they also participated in the sacrifice. What do I do now? Fine. They must not go scot-free. We must reconnect them to another altar. I must not be put to shame. Francis, your life depends on this. I keep up. I hope you can um, manage this place for now, you know, um, until everything gets better for, for you. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we will manage it. Okay. Eh? We will manage it. Thank you so much, sir. In fact, we really appreciate your kind uh, gesture. No, 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 never mind, never mind. You see, the death of Brother Daniel was a very rude shock to me. No one saw it coming. You know, just just um, it is well. uh, just open the windows and fresh air will come in. It is well. Eh? God will take care of us. Eh? Oh my God. Is anything wrong? That's my wife and my son, Philip. That crisis has started the game. Hey, sorry. Eh? So, can we be of help? There is trouble. Big trouble, Baba. We are, we are, we are in it. We are done for. Baba, 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 please wait. Don't you have an air conditioner in this in this place or all? Is it the key, Juju? Please. I'm feeling hot, please. I, I'm not comfortable at all. I'm not comfortable, please. Share your no. Share any? Are you mad? Because I bring you in here, you are now abusing my gods. What's your problem? What's the matter? About the calabash. What happened to the calabash? About his fair. About the calabash fell from my hands. The boy we were about to use for the sacrifice. Mm. As soon as we wanted to place the calabash on him, he suddenly woke up and fell it with his hands. Baba, please. Casa. Casa. Eh. Do you have money? Yes. We have money. No matter the amount of money, we are ready to spend. Baba, money is not a problem. At all. That settles everything. Okay. Okay. Now, you will go and buy. Two beautiful caskets. Two. Yes. Okay. Then you get a very good caterer that can cook very well. Okay. <laughs> because as people are crying, they will begin to be eating. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. That's all. That's all. What are you going to use this casket for? <laughs> for your berryani? Ha! Oh, because you have three more days to leave. Ah, Baba, why are you treating us like strangers? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. I, I, I'm sorry. You are not strangers. 
I shouldn't have treated you like one. You are dead men walking. Ah, about stop, Sebe. Ah, Amy. Ah, what's the meaning of that now? Ah, what's the meaning of that? You shouldn't be threatening us, Baba. Yes, no. What you should be doing now is to find a way out for us. Yes. Tell us the way out to this problem, Baba. Ah, of course, there's way out. There's way out. The same way in is the same way out. Ah! So, Baba, please help us. Leave this place. Oh, please, please help us. You don't believe me. Baba, don't want to die. Be, we'll, be, we'll be your dean now, Baba. Please, we're very sorry. We don't want to die, please Baba. Help us. We are begging. We beg of you, please. Just help us. Help us, please, Baba. Baba. And the Toba Dafano will not let you go The same person that fell the calabash is going to be the item for the sacrifice. He must die for you to live. Oh. Yes. I don't really understand the meaning of that dream. But I think there is a need for serious prayer. Hmm. I think we need revelation first before prayers. Because hmm, prayers without revelation of what to pray about is a mere waste of time. Or oh, are these keeper people still after us? Revelation is needed because I also heard the sound of a bird last night. I think they need to take this boy to the hospital for medical checkup. No, he needs a spiritual checkup. You see, when you take someone who needs a spiritual checkup for a medical checkup, uh, you give the enemy more foothold to strike. Hmm. This is deep. Mm. Because um, whatever is done in the life of a man in the spirit cannot be undone by mere physical medical personnel. It will take another realm of the spirit to undo it. Hmm. Your revelation is deep. Where is Jude? How are you? You not fun. And me, what can I do for you? Jude. That's not too harsh of you now. We admit we might have offended you, but at least let's explain. Yes, exactly. You know we are friends, alright? Mm -hmm. Huh? And don't forget, we have eaten wine and dined together oh, on the same table. Yes, and remember, we promised to take a very good care of you, Jude. <laughs> if you promise to take good care of me, don't forget what you guys were about to do that day that I saw you. You, you guys held the calabash on top of my head. If not for God, who knows what you guys would have done to me? <laughs> What's funny? Oh, God. You are very funny. You are so funny. You are so funny. <laughs> you are so funny. But I thought you were both. Are you chicken at it? What you actually saw that day was that um, <laughs> we have what we call money making charms. Yes, no. And we're uh, trying to put them on you so mm -hmm. that you can make money. Of course. As we do. Of course, that's a request. Charms. Yes. When did you guys have charms and I didn't know? You've it, it never told me you have charms, oh. Oh, we never did. We thought you know. 
Uh, uh, no problem. I don't need your chance. Thank you very much. I'm off here. Dude, you may not need that charm, but I guess you need the money. I don't need your charm and I don't need your money. But I guess you will need our two million naira. Two million. I told you that the world is filled with all that. Yes. You are constantly going to be directly or indirectly have contact with altars that will give you access to the world of men. <laughs> Good networking. They are still attached. <laughs> Indirect initiation with altars. Still on my plans, my keeper. Demonic manipulations and networking. <laughs> I love this job. <laughs> John, you are welcome. I have tried and tried your number, but it was not connecting. You have a very good result. Mm -hmm. You came out well at the horrors. Mm -hmm. But we we'll get back to you. <sighs> Again? <sighs> But you see, my son, I want you to cheer up, please. It is not their fault. It is the economic situation of this country. It is so bad. To get a job in this country is not an easy task. It is not easy at all. You see, mom, three people who do not have my qualification and results were employed. So it is not a problem of this country. It is not the problem of the job. See, it is the... Uh -huh. It is what? What is the problem? John, what is the problem? It is where? Hmm. Oh. Hello? Hello, my sister. Who am I speaking with, please? It's a brother. I just heard about brother Daniel's death. Oh, that. <laughs> God has comforted us. We are fine now. Thank you. Sorry, madam. Very sorry to accept my sincere condolence. Oh, thank you, sir. Please, can I have your current address so that I can pay you a visit? Okay, but who are you, please? I am Sivanos, Brad Daniel, close friend. Okay, I will send it to you. Do you know him? No. But he said he's your dad's um, closest friend. He just uh, wanted to follow somewhere. Just to be a witness in an establishment. That's all. Yes, that's it. And after that, Jude, you get the money. The money becomes yours. Eh? Yes. So where's the place you want me to follow you? Just somewhere. Relax. <sighs> Ah, no, 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 no. See, somewhere without the exact destination with men is very dangerous. See, I beg to leave. Ah, no, 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 Jude, Jude, hold it, hold it. Stop being difficult, eh? Aren't we friends again? Don't you trust us anymore? You seem to have changed. What's wrong with you? What's going on? Ah, somehow, see, I just feel it's not safe being with you guys anymore. <gasps> yes, now. Jude, trust us. You are safe. <laughs> see, all I'm doing is just for my family. That's it. It's just to change our lives. Oh, that's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. That's how to be a man. You've got to be a man, man. Just go with us and let's get the money, all right? Okay, what time? When is it? 8 p.m. I came to Kong Street behind the gas station. 8 p.m.? Yes. I know, it's too late. <sighs> Which establishment we attend to you at 8 p.m.? Jude, just calm down and ignore the time. And let's go and get the money. That's the main thing. I should be along. Yes, you should. You have a problem, okay? Huh? 
Madam, I am Sylvanus. As I introduce myself, I'm a very close friend of your husband, Brad Daniel. I am sorry for this loss. Mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Madam, as a very close friend to your husband, because he's always said that a friend in need is a friend indeed. I can't open my eyes see you living in a place like this. It's too bad. Oh. What do we do? Eh? We even thank God for this provision. In fact, it is one of my husband's friends that gave us this place. Mm -hmm. eh? He did not even collect any rent charges. Mm -hmm. He just gave us this place free of charge. Mm. That was very thoughtful of him. Mm. God bless him. Amen. Uh, well, um, okay. I would like to give you a token. <clears throat> oh, madam, I would like to give you. I would like to give you a check of. I would like to give you a check of two million naira. Please take this. Ah, hold, uh, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Uh, wait. Uh, Mom, do you know him? You don't. Uh, sir, uh, do you know her? Um, not really. Like I said, I'm a friend of Brad Daniel, your dad. Uh, 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 sir, uh, the one you know very well is dead. Hmm. And as a close friend, I, I believe that uh, he must have one time or the other spoken to his wife about you. So if uh, his wife, who is one flesh with him, know you not, then it's, it's not wise to collect that check from you, sir. John! Um, I, I, I'm sorry, sir. It's all right. I'm madam. sorry, sir. Please. It's all right. It's all right. I understand him so well. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much for your understanding, sir. You see, if um, our dad, who is your close friend, wants us to know you, or wants you to know us, there have, will have been an introduction and we'll know each other better. But since that was not done, um, it's, uh, uh, so we kind of appreciate your kind gestures and your help to us at this time. But uh, sir, we don't know you. All right. Thank you, sir. I would like to take my leave. We appreciate you, sir. It's okay. It's, it's all right. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you, ma. <laughs> I would like to take. All right. <laughs> John! John! So you mean they rejected our offer? <sighs> Outrightly, they rejected our offer. You know there is no time on your side again. We are sorry, Baba. Sorry, Baba. Convincing him to follow us was not easy. At all. <laughs> As a result of what happened the other time, it wasn't easy. Okay. 
Uh, is he aware of where you are bringing him to? Ah, Baba, ba, stop, she beg. Ah, ah, but then show thing now. Ah, of course he's not aware. If he was aware, he wouldn't have agreed to come with us. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, no problem. I go to pray. Anywhere Jude may be, let God in his mercy pitch his tent around in the let's pray Jesus' name. Anywhere Jude may be now, anywhere Jude may be right now. Pitch your angels around him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray. Satanic embargoes upon his life be destroyed. Let's pray. Every satanic embargoes upon his life where he is now be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic embargoes upon his life be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus' name we pray. Now it's time to throw confusion. In the camp of the enemy, you see, mom, this is the kind of prayer that one prays when your son, your relative, your husband, your wife is already in camp somewhere or lost and you can't find him. I go to pray, we throw confusion in the camp of the enemy. We throw confusion into the camp anywhere it may be now. Anywhere you let there be a divine release. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Let there be a divine release in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. The enemies in the name of Jesus, in amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You have to wake him up. We cannot do anything except he wakes. But why, Baba? It won't be an easy process if he's fully awake. Uh, then you should come and do it for yourself. What's your problem, Baba? What's your problem? You know, me. Shut up, old man. I think so. You meant you think we're joking with you. I want to nini fa suku ni. You are talking to me like that. See, death is looming over you. Shut up, old man. Shut up. If you think death is easy, uh -huh. then go ahead of us. See, Baba, if you say we will die, I swear, you might swear, you will be the one to die first. Nonsense. Ah, uh, why the noise? Ah, uh, why you fighting? See. Fighters will find their path in the lake of fire. Ah. Um, Jonas has come. Where is the paper you said I'm here to sign? Shut up! Don't you see where you are? Is this environment look like where you can sign? Are you not afraid? See, I have been to places that is worse than this. I have seen people that are more terrifying than you. I have made a mistake by entering into your cave. But I'm very sure that I will come out of this place sound and safe. Do you now see what we've cost? Baba, you have to do something very fast. Time is not on our side. Do something about this. Calm down. Why are you Calm down, calm down. Before you do anything, let me do something. Baba? Oh Lord, I know I have made a grievous mistake to be here in the first place. But the Bible says, you are my strength and my refuge. A present help in time of need. Jesus, help me! Ah, Lord, help me, please. Please help me. Is that all? Lord. See, look, if not for old time's sake, I don't want to do. Abu Abanity, as soon as I touch his head with this thing, it will fall down. Then you will place the calabash on him. Be, be, be fast, Mr. Kaba. Be fast. Hey, Bomio, Oji Lorowa, do you have anything to say? For safety, your last word. Yes. One thing I am sure of is that I know definitely that the enemies I see today, I will see them no more. Ben, you, you, will see see you will not see us again. You will not see us again. Meaning, Ben. Sit down. 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 Sit down.
principal officers of the spiritual wickedness in high places. I have been assigned to keep the altars and to reduce the destruction of the altars. I, I understand. I understand. Please, I, I am very sorry. I need more time. More time. There is no time. I have targets. Please. I will give account. Have you forgotten the motto of the commission? Ah, no, 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 no. It, it is it is souls of men by the altar. Not just souls. All souls. We are working very hard to make people caged by the altar. Not counting the destruction of the altars. I, I will do something very fast, my keep. Oh, oh, this of the... If the orders are destroyed, yes. then the gateways are locked. How do we now keep going in putting men in ancestral bondage? How do we keep making them masturbate? How do we keep making them watch pornography and engage in all forms of sexual perversions? If the altars are destroyed, ah! I am doomed. Please help me. I don't know his children were serious believers. I thought they have lost God. I thought they have lost of money like their father. You're not serious. How, how do we keep sending Inkubi and Sukubis to the singles to cause delay in their marriages or to the marriage to scatter their hopes and frustrate the purpose of the marriage? You have done a lot of harm. I, I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you know it's a transgenerational inheritance? No. <laughs> Don't you know that it will continue even to their unborn generation? Uh. Now, you have caused a stop to our activities in Daniel's family. <laughs> it's not totally so sad. Check your altar hereditary. Meet her. I see the map flow. I hope so. <laughs> I shall be back. Wait here. My brother, just thank God for me. I entered this door again. Which door? The devil's door. I wanted to change our life, and my old friends offered me an happy hand. Before I knew it, I became a material for sacrifice. It was God that came to my rescue. No, not again. Ah. You see, the road that leads to the devil's door is conventiousness, greed, lack of patience. I mean, why are we in a hurry? Jude, guide your heart. We will wait. 
Thank you, my brother. Um, what about the interview you went for? Hmm. Same story. We will get back to you. I don't know the problem. All doors seem closed. Even those who had promised to uh, help just surprisingly turned their backs. But why? Maybe because there is no job or I'm sure they might have tried their best. No, no, Jude. You see, nobody is naturally stingy. Every helper has a relative or friend in need. They just choose not to help them. But why? Maybe because the oil or the grace that should compel them uh, you know, to help is not there or is at the mercy of demonic engagement. <sighs> Bro, John, this one that you are just splitting prophetic mysteries. What do you want to do with them? It is not about splitting prophetic mysteries alone. It's about rising up and walking in the light of those prophetic mysteries. Jude, huh, we need to fire. Okay. We need to fire. Shout this loud and clear. Jude, satanic hunters. Satanic hunters. Attached to my life. Attached to my life. To trap my virtues. To trap my virtues. You are a liar. You are a liar. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting Die! for? Die! Die! Turn into prayers. Satanic contest oh, in this environment. Satanic contest in this environment. Satanic contest anywhere. Oh, oh, die, Attached die, to die, my die, life. Die, 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 Monitoring die, die, die. my life to die, trap die, die, my virtues. Jesus. What are you oh, waiting are you for? Die, die, Receive die, destruction. Die, 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 Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Save us from this constant attack of the enemy. Philip, how is it? Is it any better? No. Are you okay? Dad. Yes? Nothing in fire will do. It is well with you. It's like there is a fire burning in me. Oh God. Sorry. Not fire. Sorry, sorry. Where do we go now? Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Let's pray, let's pray. Huh? Let's pray. Pray. Uh, no. Have we not prayed enough? Ah, Philip. Have we not fasted enough? <laughs> White fasting. Oh God. Dry fasting. Dirty clothes fasting and all. I support you, Philip. My dear, we've done a lot already to be free from this. <laughs> Even this academic is suffering all because he can't go to school because of this attack. I'm tired of all this. I'm tired. See, see, just the Lord will take control. The Lord will take control. It will soon be over. It may never be over if we don't take our stand. It may continue like this forever if nothing is done. That is very correct, John. It is our responsibility to take dominion. You see, sir, things have not been easy since the death of my husband. But I believe things will change. In the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, it says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You see? Now, Jude, according to that verse, what set free? The truth. The revelation. Revelation. You see, sir, I will need to ask you some questions. Because one of the major reasons why our prayers are not answered 
is because we pray out of revelation. And so the first prayer point should be, Lord. The first prayer point should be, Lord, give me divine revelations of the situations around my life. That's the prayer we should pray. Lord, give me divine revelations of the situations around my life. Amen. Lord. Uh -huh. uh, hello, dude. How are you? I'm fine. Please, who am I speaking with? Uh, it, it, it's me on the phone. It's me. Who is me? Don't you have a name? Please, I need your help. Where are you? I'm sorry. I don't just divulge personal information to strangers. Uh, I'm not divorcing. I'm not a lawyer. I guess you don't have anything to say in the first place. <laughs> hello, 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 it's me. It's me, Scam. Dude, please. I know you should not give us audience, but please, we need your help. We have just eight more hours to live. Then why are you afraid? <sighs> please, we don't want to die. Come to our heads. <laughs> then you should not be afraid of death. Because the very first time you enter into devil's door, you have signed in for death. Because it is the wages of sin. Please, help us. Help us. I don't want to die, please. I'll find something to do. Ah, yeah. What's he talk? Oh. Is he coming? What is he coming What's now? Look, if they are truly your friend, and you feel like helping them, please do. Because they have three hours before judgment strike them. See, let's ignore them and let's focus on you. What about me? Calm down. How many hours do you see they have left? Less than five hours. No. They still have time, five hours. <laughs> they have time. How, how do you mean? See, let's come to reality. You have less than five minutes more. Ah. Because it is written all over you. See, I can see it here. Please, please help me. Are you also afraid of death? Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> you do. After you have eaten a lot of concussions, you have drank a lot of blood, you have lost different lives for sacrifices. You are also afraid of death. Ah. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be afraid. Oh, mommy, Joe. Uh -uh. Please, please, I don't want to die. Please stop. Stop. Don't talk to them. Don't talk like that. Please help me out. I don't want to die. <laughs> Three more minutes, Baba! Please calm down, calm down. What will happen to them after that five hours? We need madness. They will run mad. Oh. That's too cheap. Mad. <laughs> That's too cheap for them. At least they are not going to die. Ah. Yes. Two, Two more, more minutes. minutes. Hey. Baba. Hey. Hey. What? Help me. Help me. The Bible says, Mercy prevails over judgment. But mercy do not totally eradicate judgment. It only places mercy over judgment. And you see, mercy is what is needed at emergency times like this. One more minute! Yes, please. please! That is looming on me, please! Say after me. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I am sorry for my wicked ways. I am sorry. I am sorry for my wicked ways. You are wicked. I am sorry for my wicked ways. I vacate the kingdom of darkness. I vacate the kingdom of darkness. I embrace the kingdom of your dear son. I embrace the kingdom of your dear son. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I hope I will not die again. Only mercy can decide your fate. Ah, please help us, help us, please. As for you, only Jesus can save. Turn your life over to Jesus. Fraud is a sin. Internet scam is evil. And it will eventually make you mad. Ah, God bless you. So let's go. Let's go. Don't ah, leave us, please. please. Ah, Why are you awake? I saw something.
Who is the owner of this house? It's my father. The house belonged to him. It was one of the things I inherited when he died. Mm. Sorry about that. So, where was your father buried? Um. Be free to talk, sir. You know, I just need to gather some information from you so that we can pray. I mean, was it buried in the cemetery or where? It was, it was buried in the third room in this house. What? You mean you buried your father in one of the, in one of the room in this house? Why? That was his instruction. He told us to bury him in the same room his father was buried. So, 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 so in this house now, there's a burial ground. You mean one of the rooms in this house is a graveyard? When last did you enter the room? I've never entered the room since I was born. I'm confused. I'm confused. So how did you bury your father? We didn't bury him. We weren't allowed to go in. No matter. You were not allowed to enter the room. So who buried him? Who committed him to Mother Heart? Some people came. They requested for his body. They said they are his friends and they are the only ones allowed to bury him. This is strange. This is strange. So, ah, my God, I don't think I've heard anything like this before. And you did nothing. Because it's my, my own father too did not bury his own father. Ah. Some, some, some of his friends came also to, to, to bury him. Some, some elders and my father's siblings were with them also. Hotters. Hotters. Ha. Ah. See your hotels. So, you don't even have. And I'm, I'm confused. Is, is, is this room locked up? They take the key away every time. And even if, if, if the room is opened, nobody, I repeat, nobody is allowed to enter into that room except those people. Ha! Huh. There is a cemetery in this house and I don't even know. Ah! Hey! No wonder! No wonder what, Mom? Ah, no wonder we have no headway. Hmm. No wonder I have been having different kinds of terrible dreams in my life. Ah, Jesus! This is from fine pan to fire. <laughs> I have also been looking at that room. It's always locked. And anytime I pass like this, I will just begin to hear sounds. Hmm? Just in my ears. You hear sounds? Yes, now. Which sound? Is it a sound of bed or a sound of snake? Uh, just unimaginable sounds every year. Ah! We live here today. We must leave this house today. To where? To anywhere safe. Anywhere. Anywhere that is safe. Anywhere is nowhere without Jesus. See, the world is porous and grossly filled with darkness. Almost everywhere you turn to, you will always see evil, darkness everywhere. So the solution is not running, it's staying to take authority. Mm, that's true. And the authority is with God. Ah! Danu! Danu, are you sure? Mom, be strong and courageous. Perhaps we are the ministers that God has sent to this house at this time to rescue this house and its uh, dwellers from the situation that is currently going on. Mom, we'll be fine. Let's just believe. Ah. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. You students have told him anything. I didn't have a choice. Ah. I didn't have a choice. I couldn't have lied. His questions were too direct. But you should have at least said nothing. See, now they would begin to look at us in a special way. They will not understand that these are just normal family friends. Yeah, but are you not tired? Are you not tired? Is everything okay with us? Does, does, does this look like a normal family procedure to you? Yes! <laughs> Only Jesus can save. Turn your life over to Christ. Christ is a sin. In the name of
David inquired of you in First Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. He said, Shall I pursue after this troop? And you told him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and recover all. Who oh Lord, shall I fight this battle? Should I fight this battle? Ah, Roger, why are you asking that question? We are fighting the battle already. <laughs> no, no, Jude. Not all battles are meant for us to fight. That is why you see many soldiers go to the battlefield and come back wounded. When you fight another man's battle, you will carry another man's bruise. And so therefore, when you fight your battle, you come back rejoicing. Mm. Mm. Then we need to ask God about this battle. And to seek his face if we are to fight alone or gather giants at the cave of Adullam for proper preparation. John. Hope there is no problem. Oh, no, no problem. I'm just trying to take a prophetic stroll and um, you know, uh, visit Alandis Arena. There's no problem. How do you mean? Uh, you can't understand, ma. They are languages of the spirit. Everything is alright. It's no problem. Uh, Mom, Jude, both of you will be in this room praying together when it is time for me to enter that room. Only you? Uh, no, no. Uh, my prayer partner will soon be here. So we shall pray together just you know, at the door of the room and God will tell us the next step to take from there. I saw Bro John walking around that door. Uh -uh. Hope he's not thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? You shouldn't make an attempt of breaking that door. I can't do that. Why? I told him the consequences. He can't. Maybe he's just being curious or something. Eh, I hope so. Let him not wake the sleeping dog. It's not possible. Better. He's just curious about whatever is happening. Okay, which I see. The Bible says, how can one enter into a strong man's house? Yeah. Except he first bind the strong man. Yes. See, we must first of all weaken the powers mm. around that room. Mm. Exactly, Bro John. I was going to see that. Exactly. You see, brethren, there are territorial others, mm. strong men around one's community, your house, or your street, or where you live. Mm. When you now begin to notice that your life begins to look like the norms of people living in that community, ah. then you know you are under the influence of territorial waters and strong men. Mm. 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 And so mm. therefore, yes, you will shout this loud and clear. Every territorial altar, every territorial altar, assigned to waste my life, assigned to waste my life, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Father, in the name of Jesus, every territorial altar assigned to waste my life, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Who is that? Who is disturbing my sleep? No! 
If you value the life of your job, send those people out now. Send them out now. No! with which you are using to pray. It's so loud. It's disturbing the entire neighborhood. Oh, we are very sorry. We apologize. We promise to reduce our voice. In fact, for the rest of the night, we are going to pray with a very low voice. Yes. This night? You still want to pray tonight? Yes, for the next seven days. Ah, no, uh, can't you go to the church? Ah. First of all, has to pray, please. But my... Do you have issues with our prayers? Yes. In fact, what my husband made to tell you is to leave this house for the sake of our son. I heard a strange voice from your room. Is that the voice of Philip? Yes. That is why you must leave or stop because you are the cause of this calamity. Yes. Ah. So, you are addicted to a life of bondage? You believe there cannot be any change? You are disaddicted? Ah. You now telling us to leave this place now? Okay, thank you very much. We will leave. But that's after we are done with our assignment. Be very fast about this. Dear, let's go. Very fast. Very fast. But John, what are we now going to do? We have to act very fast. You don't have time. It's obvious these people are already blind. But we will pray. We will continue to pray. Hey. is under attack. He's going to die. Who told you that he's going to die? John, this is no time for questions. This is no time for questions. Please leave my house. Don't, don't worry. I'll bring your note to you whenever you are. Please, just leave. Leave, please. Philip. Philip. Huh? Dear. Dear. Leave Leave my house. Leave. Ah, 
Oh, yeah, no. Okay, what are you still waiting for? The house owner said he doesn't want us again in his house. And you are still here standing. Let's go now. Exactly. I think we need to move. Because we may be accused of killing their only child. Oh. Happy yes, now. We need to move. Please, let's leave. Yeah. Let's go. Let them go! Let them go! Who is that? Let is that go. the voice of their son? Philip? Let them go! Philip. Ah, it's a strange voice. Uh, 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 yeah, just hold on for me. I will soon be back. A uh, few minutes. Just a uh, few minutes. Uh, John! John again? John! What do I do with this? Let them go! Let them go! He is the prize of yesterday peace! Go away! Send them out! Send him out! John, what are you doing here? Please pity my son. Pretty my son and just sleep, just sleep, just sleep. I silence that bad spirit by the prophetic in the name of Jesus Christ. I want water. Give me water. Dad, mom. What is the problem? Philip. Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. I, I, I need to take my leave. Sorry for my stubbornness. Bro, John, you leave me. I love you so much. Philip, I love you too. But uh, your parents don't want me in your house. I only came back to silence the mouth of that noisemaker disturbing the neighborhood. I need to leave. Which noisemaker? Ask your parents. Good day. Bro John, don't leave me. I need you. Philip, you know what? I'm making a promise to you. I will always come back to check on you. But I, I, I need to leave. We need the prophetic. The prophetic only answers to those who are tired of their situation and ready for a change. Not to those who are satisfied being in bondage. John, this, this matter is beyond bondage. But it's not beyond God. Yeah. Philip is my only son. He's my first and only son. I have another brother too, he's my father's first son. In fact, this entire problem happens to the firstborn in our family, first sons in our family. They, they, they always suffer from convulsions and sicknesses that will not allow them to make any meaning in their life. But did you hear what the voice said? I mean the voice that spoke through Philip? It said, he is the sacrifice, the price of yesterday's peace. Mm. 
Do you know what that means? That is the first time I'm hearing that. I, I really don't understand. You will understand. You will understand very soon. When someone refuses to be a price to someone's peace, it means trouble will begin to loom on the offender. <sighs> so, what, what do you advise? You and your wife, two of you, you must first of all be tired of the situation and ready for a change. We are ready. We are ready, but Philip is my only son. I don't want him to die. You see, Philip will not die. We must first of all ignore the roaries and the rantings of lions and pray too. Ah, uh, and then, um, Bro Mike, that third room, that room must be opened. Ah. No, the room that my father himself did not open until he was buried there. And when you die too, you will be buried there. <laughs> Bro John, that's the little I can say about your situation. But the way you commanded that spirit and it obeyed you, I was shocked. You can command it too, if you believe. Because if you do not take dominion over it, it will take dominion over you. But this is how it has always been. But this is not the way it must always be. I guess that is why I have not been able to get a job. Uh, you can't get a job. Mm -hmm. Can't you see how scanty the old place is? It's as if there is no one living there. I can't get a job. How do you mean, Brother Mike? Uh, anyone who lives in this house, they, they, they struggle. Uh. Even if they have businesses, it will crumble. No one lives there and makes an headway in life. And you are still living in it? I have to, as the last one of my father. Ha! The devil is a bastard. A bastard. And, um, is your wife aware of all this um, situation? Well, she, she doesn't know much. She just knows that the room is not accessible. Kai. It's a serious matter. My sister, you need to take charge as a woman. You shouldn't be satisfied with all these happenings around you. I'm not satisfied. I've done a lot to sit to the solution of this problem, but it is not working. <laughs> no, you haven't done anything if you have not prayed. This is a serious spiritual matter. We fasted a lot. We've prayed a lot. Visited many mountains. Fasted so many times to no avail. I'm tired. Oh, I see. I see the problem now. It is just as if you are deceiving yourself. I mean, why are you moving to the mountains when the mountain to actually move is in this house? How do you mean, Ma? The third room. The third room must be opened. That's very difficult. Because that door cannot be opened. Are you really sure? I feel you can pray here and God will answer. Let me exactly. just stay here. Exactly. Opening a room that I've been locked for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. Not knowing what is there is dangerous. We take authority over every kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We carry the presence of the Lord as we enter into this room in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bro Mike, hmm? your faith has to be strong. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Now, use the armor in your hands to break this door. What are you talking about? No, don't try it. Ah. No, 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 no. I, I brought the armor for you. My friend, don't put the. No, 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 no. You don't need to worry. Yeah. God is over all things. That is it. Yes. Hey, bro, Tope, yeah. thanks for the encouragement. But, Mike, your faith has to be strong now. Okay. That is it. This room has been in your house. You are the one that has to break it, but then no problem. Brotope is here and okay. we assist you. So give the armor to Brotope. Brotope, please just help us break the door so we can go. Uh, uh, sir, sir, please hold it. 
But Bro John, why are you pushing this thing to me? I, 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 you know, I really don't have experience in breaking doors. Yes, I think we have to wait till tomorrow. So that we can call Carpenter for help. Uh, no bro, talk me. It's not up to that. These things are very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's very easy. All you need to do is to take the armor now from Bro Mike. This is where we call the uku. And this is the kasha. Use it, break it, remove the hook, the, the, then the, the padlock will unlock and easily we get access to that. Bro, John, just try and understand me. Professional knowledge is needed here. Yes. And moreover, this door, it has been locked for a while. Professional knowledge into yes. to break a door? Yes, it's needed. Ah, okay, um, Bro, Mike, bring the hammer. Eh? Okay. Nego. What are you trying to do? To break the door? See, we are praying here. Because we are praying to God. And this is our God as we are praying to. He's a God of the Spirit. God is Spirit. Therefore, when we pray here, the, the, the arrows will enter there. When it comes to this, our God, no boundaries, no limits. John, we are praying here. John, yes. John, yes. Are you afraid? No. Mm -hmm. Is God able? Oh, he is more than able. Yeah, are you sure you, you don't have to retreat? Are you sure you don't have to retreat? <laughs> because you retreat. John, John, John. You all must help my faith. All these faces I'm seeing will not help me. If you know you don't have the same faith I carry, you can as well leave. You yeah. have to enter. Enter into this room in God's power. Amen. I carry God's presence and God's authority. I dwell under His shadows and feathers as I go into this room now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. John, calm down. John, please. Easy. In God's power. John, John. Jesus, my son, oh my son. John! Eh? He has entered. Ah! Maybe you stay, let me go. Stay, stay, stay. to disturb your peace again. I promise not to cause trouble anymore. Please, let me go, please. I will leave this house. We will leave this house. <clears throat> Too late. The game is over. You have come to reside. What is capable of killing you? And you shall die. Who are you? What is your name? Mm. I am the keeper. I keep the covenant of the altar. 
and I kill you. Whoever breaks that covenant. Which covenant? Which altar? This covenant is one eighty year old. It has been functioning for 180 years. And you came to destroy all of that. How old are you? Age does not matter. Age is a number. It is the power of God that one carries, that gives maturity and stamina. A five-year-old in Christ can destroy an altar of 500 year old at the snap of. Are you all right? The foundation of this building is sacrificed with the spirit to make all the glories and goodness of all men revert to their benefactors. They are false one. We are negotiated as hexed. Their body must be buried by certain men. And their head must be cut off. And you came to destroy all of that. How do you know my mission? Fool. I am not a man like you. I am a spirit. Oh. You are of a single dimension. I am of a double dimension. I am both man and spirit, a double dimensional creature. What do you mean? I am of earth. Sand and dust makes me a man. But the breath of God on me makes me come alive. And that makes me his spirit. So I can switch into either dimensions. And so therefore, I activate my spiritual dimension and I communicate as spirit to spirit. Are you hearing any? But I, I, I warned you people, I warned you, I warned you. If I think I'm not a Christian, I'm a Christian also. But, but what this is you, it's a certainty. It's certainty. It's beyond us. This is beyond us. Oh, my son, my son, no, deliver from John. Deliver from John, bro, John. I think you are coming out of this place. Same and sound. Jesus me. I believe I love you. Bring it out. Jesus name. So you are a spirit now? With immediate alacrity, you may now begin to hear languages of the spirit. And I do hope you should understand. Makaida the key, the she de la kaida kato shadaba. Then let me ask you a question. Since you are now a spirit, when did altar begin? And who pioneered it? If you know, then you shall leave. I don't know when altars began. Neither do I know the pioneers. But I know the one who created all things out of nothing. If you know, then tell me. Do you know the head of principalities and power who commissioned horse to keep altars alive? If you know, then you shall leave. I don't know. But I know 
so that whatever you are keeping can be destroyed. Because I know the one who was sent to destroy the works of the devil. So if you know him, then tell me. Who is that? I don't know him. His name is Jesus! What happens to that lamp? Ha! Is that not Arukunyu's halter? Go bring that lamp. What is happening to this lamp? Who is trying to destroy this altar? Who is quenching this light? Oh, you are a liar. Where is my demonic anointing? <laughs> As you can see, the fire is rekindled. It glows more. I just strengthen this lamp. This altar has been reloaded. This is what happens when an altar is not successfully destroyed. Ah, reinforcement has occurred. <laughs> My eyes are now placed on your altar. Is that all we have been attended to at the headquarters? The fire you claim has been rekindled. Every demonic anointing, re-establishing altars in this family and in my life be destroyed, be brought to null and void in the name of Jesus. <laughs> what is happening to, to this altar? What is happening to this lamp? What happens to my demonic anointing? Is alive that can bring someone to death. It is only someone that is alive that can kill. You are a dead man, and so therefore you cannot kill. Jesus has won the battle. The game is over. Come here. I summon you. Ah. You again? What happened? Why are you here? Your altar has been destroyed. But we reconnected to another altar in the house where we were living when he drove us out of the former house. My lord, you see that we tried. We tried our best. We even engaged another foundational altar. But they will not rest. 
What is your problem? I don't have a problem. The only problem I have is that I am light. And any time I find myself in darkness, darkness disappears. I am light. What do you want from me? I should be the one asking you that question because you sent for me. You summoned me here. That was a mistake. Go. 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 Francis, it's better you die before you found light from these people. My lord, please, please. At least you'll be with us in hell. Huh. Please, my lord, please. Please. Let your people prepare for your burial. Huh. Please, my lord, please. Oh, your cause of death? You die due to high blood pressure overnight. Oh. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus has won the battle. The siege is over. Hallelujah. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, for the flesh is weak. is really surprised about Uncle Francis' death. But one thing I don't know is why an elderly man would just die overnight. We are here together. We played all through till late last night. And it was fine. Only for me to hear him groaning at about 2 a.m. in the morning. And we rushed him to the hospital. He still got there. So couldn't the doctor save his life? <laughs> they tried their best. They tried their best. Shortly after, he died. The doctor said he died of complications from high blood pressure. That his blood pressure rose abnormally. And does he have any history of blood pressure? No, not at all. What could have made him have high blood pressure? <laughs> Uncle Francis, so, so loving and caring. He could give almost all. I pray he continues to rest in the bosom of God. Ah, Uncle Francis. Uncle Francis. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to shout this loud and clear. Yes. Powers of the open grave. Powers, Powers of the open grave. Waiting for my arrival. Waiting for my arrival. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Turn it to Powers of the open grave are waiting my arrival. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Powers of the open grave are waiting the arrival of family. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Hello. Boniface. Uncle Mike. Tied me here. What is happening here? And who are these people? Well, this, this, they are my tenants. They are my tenants in this house. Tenants? Yes. Uncle Mike. What? what? Two of your uncles died this hey. morning. What hey. happened? Uncle Badi and Uncle Shia. Hey, Rabadi. Rabadi is dead. He died. Bless you. Fuck you, dear. Ha! Rabadi. Who opened this house? 
who dare breaks into this door? Jesus did. Jesus came with us, entered through us, and broke the door. Jesus gave us the asses. Mm -hmm. Uncle Mike, huh? do you know the implication of this? What? Do you know what this can cause? What? I'm afraid you will die soon. No, you will die soon. Well. I'm afraid. God forbid. He will not die. Amen. He shall live. Amen. 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 Uncle, shut your damn mouth. What do you know? Uncle Mike, two of your uncles died. I don't know the next person. I'm afraid. Maybe you'll be the next. God forbid, he will not die. Bro, Mike, never mind. Be strong and courageous. You see, some people will still die. Yeah, because people that will not allow us to live of a life of peace must actually die. Amen. I go to pray. Every unrepentant evil man or woman. Every unrepentant evil man or woman. Putting my life in struggles. Putting my life in struggles. Die. Pray the prayers. Every unrepentant evil man or woman that must die for me to have peace. In Jesus' name, I pray. That prayer will go again this week. Every unrepentant evil man or woman that must die. Every unrepentant evil man or woman that must die. For me to have peace. Let them die now. Command them to die. Command them to die. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Bro, Mike, do you remember the voice that spoke through Philip, your son? Mm -hmm. He said, he is the price of yesterday's peace. Yes. Yes. I go to pray. Anyone using my life as a price for yesterday's oh, peace. Anyone using my life as a price of yesterday's peace. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. I refuse to be a price of someone's peace. I refuse to be placed on the scholar. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Only Jesus can say. Only Jesus can say. Turn your life over to him. Turn your life over to him. Fraud is a sin. Fraud is a sin. Internet scam na evil. Internet scam na evil. And it will eventually make you go mad. And it will eventually make you go mad. And it will eventually make you go mad. It will make you go mad. God bless you. 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 I wish to help them. They are in a very pathetic situation. But you said they are preaching the gospel everywhere. Yes, yes. The exact word you told them is what they are repeating everywhere. <laughs> you see this God, there is nothing he cannot use to see his kingdom come. So the gospel they are from is the gospel they are now preaching everywhere, I can't imagine. Do you know any of their people? Like maybe you have um, any contact with their people? People you see? I don't think these ones have anybody again. In fact, Scam used his mother for money ritual. They were about to use me when God saved me too. Well, Jude, there's nothing we can do than to pray for them. And possibly... If God gives the providence and the opportunity and the privilege, you can take them to a psychiatric home for proper monitoring and care. I think that would be nice. Only Jesus can save. Can save. <laughs> Hand over your life to him. Fraud is a sin. Internet scam na scam. It's a scamara. Only Jesus <laughs> can say. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Were they pastors? <laughs> were they pastors when they were normal? No. They were scammers and fraudsters. They refused to be pastors. How come they are preaching? <laughs> well, I guess um, the Lord won't them to deliver people like them or perhaps maybe because it is the last word I said to them that registered in their brain if you look at this year 
you see most of them are youth. Their love for money and material things has made them mad. Babylon has been a golden cup in the hands of the Lord. Intoxicating all they have. Hmm. The nations have drunk from a wine. And you can see, the nations are going mad. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7. Hmm. There is an evil in all that is done under the sun. That there is one fit for all men. Furthermore, the hearts of the sons of men are full of evil and insanity is in their hearts throughout their life. Afterward, they go to the dead. Mm. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3. A generation of madness. Who would deliver our youth? Well, we'll take care of them. John, you left your phone and it has been ringing repeatedly. But you should have at least answered it on my behalf. Uh-uh. Wait till be my own now. I mean, when did I start answering your, your calls? Uh, the callers already sent a text message. Let me... Oh my God. What? You have been employed as a manager of Tush Oil and Gas. Okay. Report at the office as soon as possible. Ah! Chum, chum, <laughs> you mean it? You are not joking. Please. This must not be a joke. Ah! <laughs> Oh my God, we sing hallelujah. Yeah, oh my God, I have done me well. Oh my God, we sing hallelujah. Yeah, oh my God, we sing hallelujah. The manager. My manager. Hey, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. God gave honor to Lega Grant. Yes. That if you don't stand up and take charge, even as a genuine Christian, you can still suffer. Mm. Because altars are real, but Jesus is alive. Mm. Mm. Ah, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the will of the sinner, nor seateth in the seat of the scornful, but is the light in the Lord, and in his Lord. Does he meditate day and night? It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Its leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever it doeth shall prosper. Don't 
sky mm, But they can be destroyed That altars of my father's eyes be destroyed hey, hey, Amen The keeper, the keeper, the keeper, the keeper The keeper of the altar the keeper, the keeper, hey, the keeper of the altar, the keeper of the altar is very stubborn. He rises not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against pride. It solves the magic finger.